Hello, Tom from EverystepCalculus.com, EverystepPhysics.com. Uh, vector problem. Finding the magnitude of a vector, uh, which is actually also the length. No difference, uh, depending on which physics book or physics teacher you're talking to, or uh, calculus book or calculus teacher you're talking about. So let's do an index 8 to get to my... Manual, I'm already at vector magnitude as we scroll down to the alphabetical menu. And we're going to press alpha before we enter anything means empty length. Here we're going to put in the points alpha for P, it's the PQ system, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha minus 3. Alpha 5, Alpha minus 6, Alpha minus 1. So those are the points that we have P and Q. I always show you what you've entered so you can change it if you want. And we're going to go down here to number 7, press number 7 for length. Actual length is given by the magnitude or length of PQ, which is the system square root of the X, Y, and Z figures. Um, and so we let's do it. Here's the calculations, 5 minus 1, which is the... A vector always has an original origination point, which is... Uh, what we first entered, and then the end point, which is a Q. And so the X is minus the X of Q, the Y is minus the Y of Q, the Z is minus the Z of Q. That N squared turns out to be this, 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 16, 64, 4, 2 times the square root of 21, approximately 9.17 units. Um, Go to my site and subscribe to see more videos or look at the menu that we have on the website where you can actually learn about these problems quickly. Have a good one.